Minnesota. New game as we start the second half here in Miami. They got rebound and he called the four in that quarter. Not good. They also had 14 points in the paint and eight fast break points. Now that he took their foot off the pedal and now they're paying for it. Their 19 point lead is down to seven. J.J. Hickson has 10 points. And this is sort of the way the Cavaliers operate with 20 straight losses. They're used to knockout punches and getting back up off the floor. A block against Dwayne Wade and Jamison comes back and hits the runner. Yeah, the Heat's got to get their mojo back here. It's a five point lead for Miami. Here's Bosch, and yeah, that's good. And Chris Bosch needed that after a two-point first half on one for six shooting. LeBron picks up his seventh assist. Cavaliers on a 28 to 16 run to get this close. JJ Hickson hammers it home. I'll tell you what, Hickson keeps getting better and better. He didn't score in the first quarter. He had eight in the second. And Hickson has hammered home four points here in the third. Five-point heat lead. That's one thing Coach is worried about, Eric, what Coach McAdoo said at halftime about uh, you don't want to be the team that they get off the snide with, you know, Cleveland with their losing streak. Chris Bosch is second game back after sitting out four with a sprained left ankle. Four points in a row for Chris. Finding up seven turnover on the Cavaliers for traveling. Now the Cavaliers, 20 straight losses by an average margin of 15 points a game. Their last three losses have come against the Celtics, Nuggets, and Magic by the tune of 17 points per game, the margin of defeat there. Yeah, their last win was in overtime at home against the Knicks. And they haven't won on the road since the 9th of November against the Nets. Now you look at the worst teams in the league this year, the Cavaliers at 8-39 with the 20 straight losses. Minnesota at 11-36. They've lost 22 of 24 on the road. Sacramento at 12-33, and, and that's with two straight wins. And then come the Toronto Raptors at 13-35, and, and they have an 11-game current losing streak. It's a far cry from uh, when the Cavaliers beat Boston. Boston beat the Heat in Boston opening night and then went to Cleveland and lost. I think some false hope was supplied by Cleveland when they were healthy early in the season. They were actually at 7-9 and nine through the first 16 games, and then the bottom fell out. Miami up 7. Wade sends it out to Chalmers. Open 3. And the rebound down to Christian Iengo. This is what this team wants. Get out in the open court. Use that athleticism. Get good shots. Get on the boards right there. Christian Iengo. Seven points for him. Good work on both boards. So the Cavaliers are back in it. They're down by only five. Since the middle of the second quarter, Cavaliers have out-hustled and outworked the Heat. It's the second time they've been within five here in the third period. And Hickson took it away from Ilgaskis. Right now, the Heat are sleepwalking in this game. Third foul on Big Z. This is something you thought may, might have happened at the beginning of the game. He playing four and five nights against an opponent they should be in you know, the worst record in the league, and now it's happening in the second and third quarter rather than in the beginning of the game. Antoine Jameson now with 21. Miami's lead has been reduced to three. The Heat were up by 19 with 6.22 left in the second quarter, and they were ahead by 18 with two and a half minutes left in the first half. It's a whole different game right now. in tonight's game. Let's take a look at the road ahead, the JM Lexus road ahead for Miami. At JM Lexus, price made them number one 18 years running. Click jmlexus.com to find out how. Well, Miami in the month of February plays 12 games, five at home, seven on the road, beginning with the next two in Orlando Thursday. And then at Charlotte Friday, the Heat back home, a noon tip Sunday against the Los Angeles Clippers. And welcome back to the Heat's house. 825 left third quarter of a whole new game. J.J. Hickson taking the bait on the Chris Bosch up fake. Hickson picks up his third foul. Coach of the last five minutes, the Cavaliers on a 21-6 tear. They have obliterated the 19-point first half lead for Miami. It's a three-point game. Well, the Heat, as we said, got to get that momentum back now. 
play like he did earlier in the game. Dwayne Wade had 26 points in the first half. LeBron had 15. Neither has scored yet in the third. Ilgaskis playing a little game of taps, and he finally gets it a drop. Zadruna eight points, and Coach, he just garnered his 10th rebound, which ties his season high. It's the fourth time this year he's had 10 rebounds in a game, and actually they've given him another one. So a season high, 11 boards for Big Z. Well, that's one way to get your field goal percentage down and your rebounding percentage total up. Keep missing and keep tapping it. Ilgaskis shooting 51% for the floor for the year. Spinning on the baseline, finds LeBron. And the errant pass, batted around, find, winds up with Wade with eight on the shot clock. The cutter is Chalmers, ball D Ray. Yeah, That's Chalmers. the Heat's eighth turnover. Bosch could have waited another half a second. He would have had him wide. He would have had Chalmers wide open. Set shot three for Jamison. His short Wade outlets quickly for LeBron. As will Gaskis. LeBron has two. 17 points for LeBron James. But Ogaskis getting out in the fast break. I got a feeling like he didn't make it all the way back on defense. He was already at half court when the break started. <laughs> now for LeBron and Big Z. Anytime they play Cleveland, it's going to be personal. Having spent their last seven years there. Hicks in with a miss. Actually, for Ogaskis, it was longer than that. And he got away with a foul there on Hickson. Loose ball taken by Sessions. Hit ahead for Harris. Made a nice catch. Couldn't finish it. Picks it underneath. Ball stripped away by LeBron. And Wade was basket hanging. Almost converted a spectacular shot. Have to settle for two free throws. Now you're in trouble when D. Wade or LeBron catch the ball on the run, one on one. You'd have to say, you know, 99% of the time something good's going to come out of it for the offensive player. D. Wade's probably upset with himself. He didn't put that in. Dwayne Wade, 26 first half points on 11 for 15 shooting. Also with six rebounds tonight. Three of three from the line for Wade. NBA's fourth best scorer this year. And number two to only Dwight Howard in free throw attempts at over nine a game. Cavaliers have taken more free throws than Miami tonight. 20 to the Heat's 13. And averaging 25 and a half points a game. Hickson with a rebound. J.J. Hickson with 12 points and six rebounds. Jamison, 21 points, seven rebounds. He weighs at his average right now. He's above it with 27. 6.20 remaining third quarter. Eight-point lead for the Heat. Hickson from the wing. And Bosch backpedaling for only his third rebound tonight. Bosch played more minutes yesterday than anticipated. Less minutes tonight. Wade missing the finger roll. Bill Gaskis tipping home his 12th rebound. You ever see a crowd get excited over a miss? <laughs> Team Wade. Uh, he'd have scored seven straight points. And the Cavaliers had cut it to three. Sessions on the pull-up. And the rebound batted out by Elgaskis. Good hustle by Mario Chalmers to get that rebound. He's doing a better job now in the defensive boards. They're also doing a good job of contesting shots. And there are also a few in there where Cleveland just missed wide open shots. Bosch with an offensive rebound. Fresh shot clock for the Heat. Bosch against Jamison. And Jamison could reach him and knock it away. Look about Ogaskis playing volleyball at 7-3. D-Wade with the move, sets his man up. There's everything right, but the ball doesn't go in, but Big Z is there. Hickson had a help on the drive by Wade that allowed Z to be alone on the boards. Bosch with a 21-footer that sailed wide. Zadrunas, by the way, only his second double-double of the year. 10 points, 12 rebounds. Could not have happened against a better team, his old team. Heat by 10. Just over five minutes to play. Third quarter here at the Heat House. Jamison, nice move. Deep finger roll. And the 13th rebound for Ilgaf. Too far out for a finger roll from there. I thought so too. LeBron against Anthony Parker. Deflection by Joey Graham, who comes to the sideline but stepped on. Joey Graham, the six year man from Oklahoma State. Originally from Brandon, Florida, he and his twin brother Stephen. 
also an NBA player. Hey, he attended Central Florida first before he went to Oklahoma State. Yes, sir. Joey Graham, four years with Toronto and a year with Denver. This is his 23rd game with the Cavaliers. Averaging seven points a game off their bench. He's defending LeBron, who shakes free and hits a long two. 19 for James. Miami up 12. I don't know what Coach Spolster said in the uh, huddle, but he should bottle it. He did up three when that timeout occurred. Now they're up 12. Nine straight points will do that for Miami. After the Cavaliers had crept to within three, it's 70 to 67. Good defense by D. Wade that time, but he could not get the defensive rebound. Andy Harris got the offensive board, put it back in. 13 points for Harris, who had 20 last night. 20 at Orlando with six rebounds for the rookie Manny Harris, whose sister Janelle, by the way, plays college basketball for Dwayne Wade's alma mater, Marquette. Just under four minutes left, third period. Chalmers mishandled it, and here's Harris. Chalmers could not chase him down, and Harris making sure. 15 for Harris, and the Heat lead is eight. LeBron missing the turnaround. And the rebound off the hands of Jamison, but not got by the Heat. And both teams will make changes for Miami. Mike Miller and Eddie House come in. Dwayne Wade and Mario Chalmers go in. For the Cavaliers, J.J. Hickson sits down. And into the game comes the rookie from Louisville, Samardo Samuels. Yeah, the Heat's got to get back to more body and ball movement. Right now, they're a little stagnant in their offense. You know, the Cavaliers losing their 20th game in a row yesterday at Orlando, breaking their previous worst losing streak record. They had a 19-game losing streak back in the 81-82 season, which was a 15-win campaign for Cleveland. Bringing back bad memories for them. Samuels missed inside, and James Jones underneath for the rebound with help from Big G. He now rebounding the Cavs by eight, thanks to that big fella who got hammered from behind. Zadrunas with a season-high 13 rebounds. And two free throws awaiting him when we come back to the American Airlines Arena. Miami Heat basketball here on Sun Sports, presented by AT&T U-verse. Celebrate their 85th consecutive season when they're dazzling four times the fun world tour. Stops right here in Miami. Globetrotters will take the court here at the Heat's house Sunday, March 13th at 4 in the afternoon. And Premio Lo Nuestro 2011, the highly anticipated award show, will be broadcast live from the American Airlines Arena in Miami on February 17th at 8 p.m. Artists in attendance will include Pitbull, Prince Royce, and many more. These and many other events on their way to the American Airlines Arena. Visit aaarena.com for a complete list and all the latest information on upcoming shows. Zadrunas with five points here in the third quarter. Coach, a former longtime Cavalier with 12 points and 13 rebounds, only his second double double this season. Peter, 15 of 17 at the line. Cavaliers had crept to within three. The Heat trying to flex back. Long rebound taken by Manny Harris. And ball knocked out of bounds by Miami. Manny Harris showing you something. The undrafted rookie out of Michigan with 15 points and five rebounds tonight. Harris making his 11th start of the year for Cleveland. The young man was on three Detroit Public High School championship teams at Redford High School in the Motor City. Former Wolverine had a monster dunk on LeBron in the first half. Turned it over on the Aaron pass to Samuels. Yeah, he's a guy that likes to drive the ball rather than shooting. He attacks the rim, especially out of the pick and roll. We've seen his athleticism. Cavaliers trying to avoid their 40th loss in 48 games. They've lost 30 of their last 31, 20 in a row. James Jones leans back and missed. And Samuels gobbles up that rebound. Well, sooner or later, somebody will succumb to Cleveland. Cavaliers host the Pacers on Wednesday, play at Memphis on Friday. And coach, quite a chore for Byron Scott and his staff. 
not only to keep their spirits up, they just work every day and they want their team to keep doing the same. But it's got to be hard and very deflating on this young Cavalier team beset by all sorts of injury and adversity. You're right. It, it, it is a little easier, though, with young guys rather than veterans. LeBron missed on the run. Jamison down with a rebound. But what you want to avoid is the hopeless feeling that accompanies consistent losing. Well, it all comes, obviously, from the coaching staff. As long as they stay positive, as long as they continue to work hard, we watch some of their workouts before the game. They got, they're very good with that. They got young guys out there working on their game. That's what you need. You just got to keep working hard, and eventually good things will happen for you. You know, last year, Tony, when they won 61 games and uh, ended up losing to Boston in six in the playoffs. Last year, they averaged 102 points a game. This year, 93. LeBron lost his headband, but not his focus. Got the field goal and is headed to the free throw line after he fixes up the hairdo. That's always a good sign. He got hit in the head when he loses the headband. Fox Exmo right here. You'll see the play. He was probing, probing, probing. You see he got hit in the head. And you know what's tough about LeBron around the rim, both he and D. Wade, is that they can score with either hand. LeBron with 21 and seven assists, four rebounds to go along with it. He's nine of ten at the line tonight. 14 to four run for Miami. The Heat are up by 13. And to the Cavs and cut it to three. It's 70 to 67. And Samuels will go to the free throw line. So Mardo Samuels, who is from Jamaica, but went to college at Louisville after a terrific high school career at St. Benedict's in Newark, New Jersey. Matter of fact, this young man was the 2008 USA Today National High School Player of the Year. St. Benedict's has an excellent basketball program. Mardo not drafted after playing two years at Louisville. Off his career best 16 point game yesterday against the Magic. All right, he has three points, three fouls. And the offensive rebound of Jamison missed on the quick put back hook. And Eddie House saves it in all the way to the backcourt. Parker lets it bounce out. Cavaliers get it back with a complete shot clock. Eddie didn't want to save it under the other team's basket. So that's a pretty good move by him. Rather than let it go out and let them get a base and out of bounds play, go down the other end of the floor and set up your defense. 27 points for Dwayne Wade, only one here in the third quarter. 22 points for LeBron James, seven here in the third quarter. Inside, Jamison missed. And Mike Miller with a rebound in traffic. Got seven rebounds for Miller. Too much congestion in there. House, long two. It's good. You're getting a good combination there from LeBron to House. It's 86 to 72. Miami up by 14. Eddie House now with seven of the Heat's 13 bench points. Jamison on the move. And the loose ball rebound taken by Mike Miller. And a technical foul has been assessed to Tony Parker by Ken Maurer, who is quick on the trigger calling technicals. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Parker thought he got, you know, sometimes when that happens, it's, it's accumulation of things. Parker probably thought he got hit a couple of times before. It wasn't just on that one play. Remember the flurry of five technical fouls Ken Maurer called in a recent NBA game. Well, Kenny, a very experienced official in his 25th year, lives in Fort Myers these days. And, Coach, I know you love your baseball. His cousin, the outstanding Minnesota twin, Joe Maurer. Oh, man, what a hitter he is. One of the best baseball players in the major leagues. 17 to 5 run for the Heat since the Cavs crept to within three. We're closing down here in the third quarter in Miami. Good crowd on hand. Hope you're enjoying the ball game wherever you tune in Sun Sports tonight. And they had to give up 37 points in that second quarter. The Heat now have only given up 15 in this quarter. And LeBron has nine of his 24 points in this third quarter. The Heat, coach, I think it's safe to say they have. Got the wake-up call and have reassumed control of the game. Harris from downtown. And that ends the third quarter. Strong statement made for Miami after the Cavaliers had closed the lead to within three. With eight and a half minutes left in the quarter, the Heat took over.
is presented by AT&T U-verse. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter here at the American Airlines Arena in Miami with a heat up by 17. Miami outscored the Cavaliers in the third quarter, 23 to 15. Gang, it's time for your all-year cooling hustle board. Miami out rebounding the Cavaliers by seven. Points in the paint. That two goes to Miami. And Zadruna Silgaskis, 13 rebounds a season high. Also a season best eight on the offensive board for Big Z. We welcome you back to the Heat's house. Jason Jackson, the coach Tony Fiorentino, our Sun Sports crew, Joanna Gomez, and yours truly, Eric Reed. Thanks for enjoying Heat basketball with us. Don't forget the Heat play the Orlando Magic in Orlando on Thursday night. The season series is even at one, each team winning on their own court. The Magic currently two and a half games behind the Heat in the Southeast Division. Orlando playing at Memphis right now. With 10 minutes left, third quarter, the Grizzlies leading the Magic 61 to 60. Orlando has not been a very good road team this year. Just 13 and 11 outside of Orlando. Fourth quarter underway here in Miami with a heat ahead by 17. Dwayne Wade after scoring 26 in that first half and going 11 for 17 was 0 for 3 in the third quarter, scoring only one point on a free throw. Chris Bosch drawing the foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Samuels picking up his. That's the fourth on Samardo. Now on tonight's Toyota scoreboard, seven games being played. The Indiana Pacers, after firing Jim O'Brien, get a 104-93 win. Raptors lose their 12th straight. Roy Hibbert of Indiana had 24 points and 11 rebounds. Elsewhere, the Nets out in front of the Denver Nuggets, 113-96. Brooke Lopez has 27 for New Jersey. Carmelo Anthony has 37 for Denver. Well, the Wizards. They have not won a road game this year. They're 0-23 on the road. Could it happen tonight? They're ahead by five at Dallas late in the first half. And the Wizards already getting 13 points from Richard Lewis in that game. Dallas has a four-game winning streak going into that game. And the Wizards a four-game losing streak. Anthony Parker misses the three. Bosch down with a defensive rebound with a heat ahead by 18. Miami's biggest lead was midway through the second quarter at 19. Here's Bosch. Now the Heat have regained their control. It's the largest lead tonight, a 20-point lead a minute into the fourth quarter. Now if you want to know how to spot up, catch the ball, and shoot it, you just saw it. Chris Bosh waiting with his hands up, took that little glide step, as we call it, with the right foot because he's left-handed, and then buried the J off the pass from Wade. Coach, you talk about a team that knows how to turn it on and throw a knockout punch. The Heat saw their big lead reduced to three. It's 70-67. to 67. With eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter, the Cavaliers had a 21-6 run going back to the second quarter. But since then, it's 22-5 Miami. The Heat did it yesterday in Oklahoma. What did Oklahoma score in that first period yesterday? Was it 37 points? And then the Heat, you know, won 108 to 103, won by five. So they really clamped down defensively the rest of the game. 14 points now for J.J. Hicks, and the Cavaliers have scored just seven points in the last 10 minutes of this game. Mike Miller pops out and pops in. Been a quiet night for Miller. He has only five points, but coach contributing Mike Miller with eight rebounds in 20 minutes off the bench. He's a very consistent rebound. He's averaged five rebounds a game in his career from a small forward position, which is pretty good. And then you got a block shot right there by Chris Bosch. Terrific defense by Bosch on Hickson. What'd you think of Kevin Durant taking a verbal jab at Chris Bosch after the game yesterday? Eh, just some woofing. It doesn't mean much. I know people like to make a big deal about it, uh, about it, and, you know, in this day and age with all the uh, twittering and all that stuff. But it really didn't mean much. By the way, Gilbert Arenas of the Magic looking ahead to Thursday night's game. Arenas did not play in yesterday's win against Cleveland. The same knees had operated on three times, giving him some problems. Says the humidity in Orlando, making him feel pain and discomfort yeah, in that knee. Yeah, that can happen. Eddie House missing a three. Joey Graham comes down with a rebound. They'll keep track of that Magic Memphis game as we finish up here tonight. 45 remaining in the fourth quarter with a heat up 20. Samuels lost it. Wade recovers it. 
kept it alive. How did he do that? He thought he got fouled. He looked at the official, no call. He got up and took off. And Eddie Howe <laughs> finishes it with a triple after Wade escaped with a Houdini dribble. <laughs> That's why you can't miss a minute of this game when LeBron and D. Wade are on the floor because you're going to miss something. Well, Miami now up by 23. Let's look at move here by Sessions. Nine points for Oman. Miami up 97-76. Nine minutes to play. Heat looking for their 34th win, trying to get back to 20 games over 500. Wade got a hit, got another score, headed back to the foul line. Eric, he got hit on that play, stayed in the air, took it to another level, hung in the air, finger rolled it, made the shot, took the foul, got the timeout. Here it is again, watch, he gets hit, he's going to hang in the air, take it to another level. Let me finish this play, let me get the foul call. We'll get a timeout, and I'll shoot the free throw when we come back. Gets Wayne Wade's hustle leading to a basket at the other end. He gets on the floor. He thought he got fouled, but no call. He's going to get up here where he looked at the official. And then that great hustle leads to a three-point basket by Eddie House, his second for the game. There's another angle that you can see. Mike Miller, good job of just swinging it over to the shooter. Heat up 23. Eddie House with two triples, Miami with seven. That closer look brought to you by Marooney. All 30 Marooney service lanes are always open seven days a week. Visit MaroonyService.com. Dwayne Wade's bucket a moment ago, his only field goal of the second half. Wade has 30 points tonight on 12 for 19 shooting. 30 points or better in three straight games. Remember, he missed the Detroit game, but in the last three games he's played, Wade with 30 points or better, it's the second time this year he has strung together three consecutive games with 30 points or more. In the 16th time this year, he's had 30 or more. The, uh, LeBron's got 14. Now, Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, two extraordinary athletes in the NBA, two of the game's greatest stars, also two of the most entertaining players we have ever had the privilege, South Florida, of enjoying. And we hope you are. We all know what the ultimate destination is, but as we told you at the beginning of the season, enjoy the journey. Heat season ticket holders, as we inch closer to the playoffs, that's right, the playoffs, we know what's on your mind. The postseason, the best fans in the house, get the best seats in the house. So renew your heat season tickets by the March 10th deadline and guarantee your same seat locations for the 2011 NBA playoffs. For more information, please visit RenewMyHeatSeasonTickets.com. Well, Dwayne made both free throws. He's got 32 points. The Heater 21 of 24 at the line. Yeah, we know Dwayne's high this year. 45 at Houston, 40 against the Knicks. LeBron had 44 at Portland, 32 in the second half. So 14 times to LeBron, 30 or more, as we said, 16 times for D-Wade. Well, we talked about it early. LeBron and Dwayne are the highest scoring duo in the league at 52 points a game. In the month of January, they've averaged 59 points as a duo. Tonight, they have 56 points together. Thirty-two to nine is Miami's run ever since the Cavaliers cut the lead to three. Christian Iyengu with the first of two free throws. Iyengu with eight points tonight. He trying to get to 34 and 14. Trying to win their third game in a row and their fourth in the last five. Iyengu missed the second free throw. JJ Hickson with a rebound and Chris Bosh a one-arm rebound that time for Bosh who's been kind of quiet tonight with nine points and six rebounds. Eight minutes to play. House for three. And Bosch with both arms extended for the offensive rebound. Bosch spins on Hickson and gets fouled. Benny Adams calling the foul. Coach, I know you'll like this about Benny Adams. The 16th year official has his master's degree from Southern University in math. And Kevin Fair also with a master's in education, a math major. Fair also played baseball at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Very diversified backgrounds from our NBA officials. See that, I was gonna major in math in college. I switched to psychology and sociology. Wound up teaching for 15 years. And there's Benny Adams, the 
former math teacher at Southern University where he got his master's degree. He's in his 16th year as an NBA official. 103 to 77. 745 remaining in the fourth quarter. How about Mike Miller? Nine rebounds in 22 minutes. He continues to rebound well. He's averaged eight and a half rebounds in his previous four. Joey Graham hits the jump shot. First score for Graham. Now the Cavaliers looking at a 21st consecutive loss. Getting closer to the all-time single season losing streak record. It's a nice block by Iyenga, who was a late first round pick in 2009 after playing in Spain and has some reasonable athletic skills. Most consecutive games lost in one season held by Vancouver and Denver. They lost 23 games in a row. Vancouver in April of 96, Denver in December and January 97-98. Cavaliers are headed for some very unimpressive company. Ah, good drawing kick twice right there. Eventually, you got House drawing kick to Miller. 106-79 on the Mike Miller three. Sessions comes back with a score. Well, we have empathy for Cleveland, Coach. We do. Not because they lost LeBron. We, too, have been through very difficult seasons, including the 15-win season. Four years ago, we know what they're going through. Well, we also know when this franchise started, it was, it was an, you know, a new franchise that first year. We lost 17 in a row before we won our first game in Los Angeles by a point when Norm Nixon missed the jump shot at the buzzer. That was 22 and a half years ago, man. It's a long time, Coach, and how quickly it has gone by. And one of the old cliches, winning builds character, losing exposes it. Losing certainly tests your character, tests your resolve. But well, the Cavaliers knowing they have to be professional, try to get better each day, and they're going to block out time and score. What a rough go for Byron Scott, used to winning as a player and as an NBA head coach, but he's not going to win this year or at least in the near future with the Cavaliers. This year, the Cavaliers are 28th in scoring, last in the league in field goal percentage, 29th in field goal percentage defense. And right now, it's target practice for Miami. 34 for Wade, 110 to 81 Heat by 29, their biggest lead of the game. And here comes Bosch with under six minutes to play. On the back down, Miller missed the tip. And Hickson had it batted away by Wade. Loose ball. Look at Mike Miller dive on the floor for him with a heat up by 29. And the Cavaliers throw it away. Oh, that woe-begone look in the eyes of these Cleveland Cavaliers headed for their 21st loss in a row and their 24th loss in a row on the road. Bojack. The 30th and final pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, which the Cleveland Cavaliers have, and they select Christian Ayenga from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Juventus Badalona. And we thank the commissioner for starting off tonight's edition of the Kia Car, presented by Kia Motors. At the time, Ayenga was and then continued to play in Spain. He was also a member of the Congo national team back in 07 during the African Championships this summer. Ainga officially signed with the Cavs in November. They sent him to the Erie Bayhawks, Cleveland's D-League affiliate on January 2nd. He was recalled and made his debut that same day. He's been playing ever since. Six starts along the way, now seven, including tonight. And that's the last six games as well. Why is Coach Scott giving him the nod right now? He says, and I quote, I love his athleticism. He has three-point range. He can put it on the floor. He's fearless. He can get to the basket. He's getting much better on the defensive end. The only negative is his inexperience and lack of knowledge of the game. He's learned a lot. He still has a way to go. Eric and Tony, back over to you. All right, thank you, Jax. Nice report on Christian Iangu at a 16-point game against the Raptors and a recent 15-point game at Boston. So a couple of nice games for the man Jax was just telling you about. Young Christian Iyenga. Meanwhile, Coach, the Heat have outscored the Cavaliers 46 to 26 here in the second half, and it's 23 to 11 Miami in the fourth quarter. Eric, they did it by clamping down on defense and 
uh, attacking the shooters, getting on the defensive boards, and then moving the ball offensively. It started to stick there for a while. The Heat looked like listless, who used that word, and they did. And the Wade got caught in the air that time. And then when they started to play better defense, they got more body control, they you know, more movement, and uh, that's why the Heat have been doing it at both ends. Wade gave a foul there because he's coming out of the game with the Royal coming in for him. Dwayne Wade will sit down with 34 points. 26 of them came in the first half. And Wade hearing it from the home crowd. Ed Dwayne will end the month of January on a high note. Over the last 14 games, he's averaging 31 points per game, including tonight. Getting better as the season goes on, just like LeBron. You know, young men like that with an extraordinary privilege to grow up watching Dwayne Wade own his craft. Carlos Arroyo, first time he's in the game tonight for Miami. Eric Dampier the same. Same for Juwan Howard. And coach, right now, those three have fallen to the back end of Miami's rotation. But all players on that Heat roster know their job is to stay ready when called upon. Dampier sends it back out. Four minutes left, and the Heat up 112-83. Juwan, he knocked in his first putt of the game. And a good pass from uh, House. Now, Coach, one thing the Heat have done a very good job of, uh, among many things, beating the teams they're supposed to beat. And with tonight's win, they will go to 25-3 and three against teams under 500. That's pretty good. And Pat Riley calls that being professional. Mike Miller with another rebound. Mike Miller with a double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds for Miller. And Miller with his third double-figure rebound game in the last several games. Carlos steps into a J and hit, hits it. Three-pointer. Now they did give Arroyo a three on that. His 29th triple this season. Ten of the Heat's 12 players have scored in this game. It's 117 to 83. Heat have a chance to win their 21st game by double figures, and maybe even their 10th by 20 or more. Ryan Hollins hits the short jump shot. First score for the seven-footer at a UCLA. And a technical foul has been called, I believe, against Miami's Carlos Arroyo. He did something on the floor. It wasn't anything he said, it was something he did. I missed it. Cleveland takes a timeout. We'll sort it out when we come back. Heat basketball here on Sun Sports, served up proudly by AT&T Uverse. And three steals. LeBron with 24 points, eight assists, and four rebounds. They combine to take 19 of Miami's 26 free throws as well. And they'll get a day off tomorrow from practice, go back to work on Wednesday, fly to Orlando, play in Orlando fr uh, Thursday night, play in Charlotte Friday night, come home and play the Clippers on Sunday. So three and four nights starting Thursday. And the Orlando Magic right now. Carlos Arroyo, I knew that was a two when he took it. Yeah, the official put up his arm. I, I couldn't tell from our angle. By the way, the Magic are trailing at Memphis late in the third quarter, 83 to 71. The Nets have defeated the Denver Nuggets 115 to 99, despite 37 points from Carmelo Anthony. And earlier tonight, Indiana beat Toronto 104 to 93. Here, Miami is up by 30 points. The Heat have already scored over 120 points four times this year, and they're within striking distance of that right now with 116 and a turnover on the Cavaliers and 208 left. Good defense by James Jones. Last time the Heat reached 120 points. It's a couple nights ago, January 22nd, in the 120-103 victory over the Toronto Raptors. And Eddie House knew exactly when to disengage. Ball will be on the side, fourth foul on the Heat. First one in the last two minutes. Both teams are now in the penalty. Coach, prior to this season, the Cavaliers had won nine out of ten against Miami. The Heat haven't won three games against the Cavs in a single season since the year after the championship in 06-07. And the last game in this series will be in Cleveland. We'll have that one for you on a Tuesday night in March, March 29th. This ball taken by Iyengo. And 43 left. That's another lonely night on the road for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Imagine that, 21 straight losses, 24 straight losses 
on the road for Cleveland. Well, the loss of LeBron James turned them into a house of cards, much like it did for the Toronto Raptors losing Chris Bosh. But the Cavaliers had a longer way to tumble coming off back to back seasons of 60 plus victories. Yeah, Mo Williams, Leon Poe, and uh, Anderson Barajal are all hurt. And that doesn't help the situation, obviously. And you got uh, Gibson is out as well. Yeah, Daniel Gibson going to probably miss the next couple of games with a nagging thigh bruise. And the four to top eight or nine players out. Remember how optimistic Byron Scott was yeah. before the season began? He thought he might be able to sneak in as the eighth playoff season. To be honest, Eric, when I was reading some of that stuff, I thought he was too optimistic. And then, as you said, you know, we talked about earlier, they beat Boston. That, I think it was opening night in Cleveland. And they really got optimistic. 117-86. Miami up by 31. They've led by as much as 33. And Manny Harris. Manny this kid has a chance, Coach. He's got 17 points tonight. It's his eighth double-figure game. Harris actually with 18 points. Uh, impressive young player. Shot the ball well. He's known as a guy that likes to go to the rim, but his mid-range J is pretty good. Harris tonight, 6 of 13 from the field, 5 of 5 from the line. Under a minute left in the game now. Nice pass by Carlos. Nice pass by Dampier. And Juwan Howard will go to the free throw line. Three second now tonight will be their 21st loss in a row. 23 is the all-time single season NBA record. Indiana just won the night. Then at Memphis, the Grizzlies playing well, especially at home. And Portland and Dallas maybe next Wednesday against the Pistons. That's going to be like the Super Bowl for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, you're going to stop it somewhere along the way. And you know, as we talked about, each, every team they play doesn't want to be the team that they beat. Now, the Cavaliers scored 37 points in the second quarter, most second quarter points against the Heat all year. But, Tony, the defense got a wake-up call, and they've held the Cavs to 31 points in the whole second half. The Heat has done, have done that in the past. Remember, the the game was tied with 57-57 in New York, the first visit there for the Heat. And then uh, they clamped down defensively in that second half against a high-scoring team like the Knicks. So the Heat are capable of doing that. It seems like they, a button, they do press a button or something, a light goes off or something where they just take it to another notch or two defensively. And it starts with defense on the ball and then good rotation, especially baseline rotation and then he drives to the basket. By the way, we have a lot of help every night. We do a telecast from our Sun Sports crew in the truck. And from our incredible statistician who sits alongside for the last 23 years at courtside, can't thank Steve LeBeau enough. Every single night, he pitches one great number after another to us. And we appreciate that. We hand it over to you. Well, time winding down on another impressive night at the office for Miami. 117 points, 27-point margin. Coach, the Heat are going to go to 34 and 14. Yeah, they got to back up to 20 games over 500. Well, the Heat will make it three straight wins and four of their last five. The next two are on the road. The Heat ends the month of January 9 and 5 this month. And on the February, the Heat will play 12 games in February, five at home, seven on the road, beginning with the next two at Orlando Thursday and in Charlotte Friday. And we're not the only ones that think a lot of Manny Harris. LeBron James, some words of inspiration to the rookie from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Manny Harris. It's a great show of sportsmanship by LeBron, who before the game says he wishes the Cavaliers well. Now, well, right now, after this happy night in Miami, Jax in the middle of bookends. Oh, you D ran away, but oh. we'll settle for Dwayne Wade, who finished tonight with 34 points. It's the time and the win. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, always a pleasure. I love when Dwayne calls me, sir. Makes me feel like I'm 10 years older. Oh, wait, I am. But because of his youth, he can do this, fly through the air, and bring a multi, multi-millionaire to his feet. We're coming back with more. This is Miami Heat Basketball on Sun Sports, brought to you by ATTU First. Yeah, yeah.